Hi guys, today I want to show you how to install file VNstat. VNstat is a program where you can see your traffic, so you monitor traffic and you can see your use traffic monthly, daily, hour, or um, every hour. So yeah, first of all we do an update of our server so we can be safe that everything is up to date. It's a normal thing, so app to get update and app to get upgrade. At my server is everything up to date, I think. Yeah, it is. So we can clear the screen. And now we can install with app to get install. We end that. It is we end that and it is a very small program. We can see 77 kilobyte um, have to be downloaded and installed. The program is 209 kilobyte. So it is already installed. If we type in we end that, we can see not enough data available yet because we install it now and the database is not updating that often. And if we haven't got so many traffic, it's, yeah, we can't see very big differences. So, first of all, we go with nano, it's in text editor, to etc, we endstat.conf, we can, with a tab, we can um, complete it, auto-complete it, and here we can set the interfaces, um, the default interface, then the monthly rate um, on which they, the, it should change to the next month. We can set it manually, but normally it's the first of the month. And yeah, it is um, necessary or not necessary, but you can do it um, if you're bandwidth isn't higher than 100 megabit um, then you haven't um, you don't have to change anything but if it's higher so it's gigabit you set um, to 1000 because otherwise if you let it at 100 the problem is that the way instead couldn't update the database if you're traffic um, at the moment is higher than 100 megabit. So we change that and you can um, let everything um, so now we can save that and with servers we end that, restart, we restart it and if we type in we end that, we could see the database is already up updating. We can see database updated. Um, it is running since this state. And we can see we received 1.24 megabit and transmitted 70 kilobit and, yeah, in total. And the average rate, we can see it is, it is calculated um, on the whole month so on the whole August and the traffic today is 0 0.1 0 0.21 kilobit per second because it is calculated um, yeah to 24 hours yeah if I start now start and download we can see um, at the next update how yeah, how the traffic goes up. And we can also type in with that L and we are getting the live traffic. So we can see I'm downloading currently with 300, yeah, 380 megabits. And we can see that's our 1,400, 1,200 packets per second in the receive because we are downloading something and in the transmit we are at 500 yeah kilobit yeah so if we 
if we would um, type in vnstat, yeah, it is not updated. But if we if we stop the live traffic, we also getting a short and short overview about this live traffic. We can see okay, we received one point two one gigabyte max was four hundred forty four. 445 megabits average yeah in packets and we um, see 28 seconds of the traffic yeah okay it is not updated but we can do it with we instead u u and if we do it now we can see yeah 5.23 gigabytes we received it's an average of 20 kilobit yeah because it is um, calculated on a month yeah and if you have many um, interfaces you can show the all interfaces with if list now I can see available interfaces is LO and Ethernet 0 um, if you have for example uh, many customers and uh, some VMs you can see the traffic of of every customer and if any customer um, take so many traffic that yeah maybe you run out of traffic that your server has setting up um, for example your server has a maximum or a limit from of five terabyte per month and one customer uses two terabytes uh, you can see that here or you can also monitor that yeah so i hope i can help you with this video and if you like it let a thumb up and thanks for watching bye